So I want to briefly talk about sympathetic and parasympathetic outflow from the spinal canal. This is not very important, especially not for step one purposes, but I thought it was just important for your overall understanding of the nervous system. So if we look at the parasympathetics first, we realize that a lot of it to the body is from your cranial nerves. And we've covered these, so you already know most of these. Um, remember what cranial nerve 3 did? That was for, um, I went to the eye and made it um, meiosis, made it constrict. And then cranial nerve 7 and 9, remember they were for their salivary glands, and then 7 also did lacrimation. And then the big one, the big fat one here is cranial nerve 10. Because that, remember that did our thoracal abdominal viscera. So it, everything in that abdomen and the thorax, heart, lungs, small bowel, adrenal glands, large intestine, kidney, cranial nerve 10 innervates all of that. So we realized, I think from this picture, it just shows us how important cranial nerve 10 is for our parasympathetic innervation. Also, we also have a little bit of innervation of parasympathetics um, from the lower part of the spinal cord, like the S3, S4 region. It hits our kidneys, bladders, gonads. Now, the next thing we is the sympathetics. Um, sympathetics are a little different. Remember, the parasympathetics are the ones that they go from the spinal cord or the brain stem, and they travel very far, and they synapse near or on the organ of interest. Parasympathetics are different. They, they leave the spinal cord, and they have a long chain of ganglia right here. Ganglia is where they synapsed, okay? So there's a big chain. It's like an ascending chain of nerves where they synapse right next to the spinal cord. They synapse here, and then they travel to wherever they need to go, to your muscles, to your skin, to your um, to your sweat glands. And that's... So that's basically it. So... I don't even know what that arrow is for. That's my brief overview of sympathetic and parasympathetic outflow.